it left behind a trail of destruction. On Monday, these residents of Russia's Belgorod region took in the damage done to their homes. Some bore traces of shelling. According to the regional governor, several people were injured. We are completing a door-to-door -door inspection in the border villages and the town of Graveron. Most of the population has left the area. Those who don't have their own means of transportation, we're helping them leave. Those who do have their own means of transportation are leaving by themselves. Russia has announced a counter-terrorist operation in the area, which borders Ukraine. Moscow has said that saboteurs were behind the attack, claiming it was carried out following a cross-border incursion, charges which Kyiv has denied. A group calling itself the Liberty of Russia Legion, allegedly made up of Russian fighters based in Ukraine, has, however, claimed the attack. It's time to put an end to the Kremlin's dictatorship. Thank you very much to all those who support us and send us donations. Your support is what reminds us every day of our final goal on the Red Square in Moscow. Be brave and don't be afraid, because we're coming back home. Russia will be free. Neither version of events could be independently verified. The attack comes as Russia claims to have captured Bakhmut, a narrative which Kyiv also denies. On the ground, fighting is still ongoing.